Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my dividend income for the month of October, where I received eight paychecks. So to start off the month on October 2nd, I received $5.24 from ADP. If we go over to ADP, I have just over $900, 4.18 shares, an average price of $144.16, and it has a current price of $218.56. So I am positive on this stock, and it's got a decent starting yield at 2.38%. And ADP actually has some really great dividend growth. The last time they increased their dividend was 20%. So this is definitely a stock that I enjoy owning. So next up, on October 6th, I received $8.48 from Merck, a healthcare stock. And that puts me at $13.72 for the month. Then I have just under $1,200 in Merck, 11.61 shares, an average share price of $73.69. And I've also gained on this stock. It's currently at $102.85 with a dividend yield at 2.84%. And this stock also has a really good dividend growth rate around the 8% range. So next on October 10th, I received $23.07 from Altria Group, which puts me at $36.79 for the month. So as you can see, just over 950 bucks in Altria Group. 23.54 shares, an average share price of $42.17. And I'm down a little bit on this stock at $40.67. But Altria Group has a really high dividend yield, 9.52%. And they have decent dividend growth for their high yield. They usually get in around 4%, which overall, that's not a great dividend growth rate. But when you've already got a dividend yield over 9%, I would say at that point, the dividend growth rate is really great. So next on October 13th, I received $9.61 from Realty Income, which puts me at $46.40 for the month. And then I have $3, a little over $3,800 in Realty Income, 76.1 shares, average price of $56.09. Current price, I am down at $50.03. However, O Realty is sitting at a very attractive price and a very high dividend yield of 6.32% and decent dividend growth rate. So next on October 16th, I received two dividends, $15.06 from FRT, and then $6.98 from STAG, putting me at $68.44. And that was the last dividend I received from STAG because I did sell it so I could buy more O. As you can see, I have just under $1,300 in FRT, 13.81 shares, an average price of $80.08. And then it has a current price of $93.45. And I'm actually shocked to see their dividend yield. I didn't realize it was close to 5%, 4.72%. FRT has decent dividend growth rate, but I would say FRT is one of the safer stocks I've owned and it's performed really well. And with that high dividend yield, I believe I should start investing in that stock too. But moving on to my next dividend on October 24th, I received a dollar and 58 cents from Dollar General, my worst performing stock. So if we look at this, I have a little over $300 in Dollar General, 2.67 shares, average share price of $207.09, and then an actual price of $117.43. So you can see it's gone down quite a bit. And then it has a dividend yield, of 1.99%. And I'm interested to see what happens with their dividend growth rate. They were raising their dividends by 20% every year. So I'll be interested to see what they do moving forward. And then finally, at the end of the year, or end of the month, October 27th, I received $14.58 from AMT. And so I have a little over 
Nine one thousand six hundred fifty-seven dollars in American Tower Corp. Nine shares, an average price of two hundred fifteen dollars and ninety-eight cents, and a current price of one hundred eighty-four dollars and fifteen cents. Now their dividend yield is actually at a pretty good rate, three point five four four percent. And AMT does have great dividend growth. And then finally, moving over to my dividend growth chart. You can see in the month of October, I earned $84.60 to start the Q4. And if we look at July, the first month of Q3, I earned $83.05. So I did earn more dividend income in October. Part of that was dividend increases. I believe Mo increased their dividend. And... O Realty had a small dividend increase. And then the only data point I have right now is the dollars per hour. If the $84.60 was all that I earned in October, I would have made 53 cents an hour. So that's really low compared to where I need to be. But it's great to see my dividend income growing month over month since I made all of these changes.